Right, this is uh, a little video to show the correct way to set this governor from a, an M4 Nuffield. Uh, we've already replaced bearings in the main shaft and uh, there's a thrust bearing on the plunger which will necessarily wear over time. That's been replaced too. Uh, but what we're going to show here is the way to set this level correctly so that when the bob weights are thrown out uh, under centrifugal force this, it will lift this mechanism to the correct level and will not exceed the limits that are, are allowed in the manual. So to set this we need to remove these springs um, otherwise they always try and pull the mechanism up to uh, too high. So to do that the easiest way is to manually lift up this lever and then lift up this lever and the springs are easy to remove. I say easy to remove, yes they are easy to remove. There we go. Um, the plunger, uh, sorry, the damper mechanism, there's a little uh, damper mechanism you may be able to see in the bottom here, will have been pulled out. Uh, you just have to kind of jiggle that to get that back in place. Uh, drop this lever first and then this one and you can get that back in place then. Now we've got the system ready to measure, what we need to do is take, if you look inside here you can see the, the bob weights spin round and are fl uh, flung out on those um, high speed. We need to take a screwdriver and lift one of these bob weights first as far as it will go and then I'm just going to clamp it in place. Sorry that's in the way of the video. Um, once it's clamped in place you need to take a straight edge across the flats of this machine surface and then using a ruler, ensure that this is set, the height of this top of this bar here needs to be 5 30 seconds or 3.9 mil below the level of this machine surface. I've already set this one and you can see that actually, let's do that again, let's get that right, you can see that that will be around 5 30 seconds. We then need to unclamp this, move to the next bob weight, lift that up. Again, I'm going to clamp it in position and do the same. So we need to put a flat across that surface and then measure with a ruler to ensure that that is 5.30 seconds. Now, if one of these is too high or rather too low and that measurement it, it exceeds 530 seconds that needs to be a maximum amount so that needs to be adjusted it will necessarily alter the, the level of the other but you know it's just a, a case of trial and error to get those to as close one at least one of them to 530 seconds it shouldn't be more than that but inevitably once or twice it, it you know it may be it may exceed up by 30 seconds slightly uh, once that's done, it's simply a case of putting everything back in place. And again, to do that, to get these springs back on, it's simply a case of lifting this first lever here, lifting the second to the point where the springs can be easily reattached. What's that one? What's that one? And then lowering the levers ensuring that the damper mechanism falls back into into its little pot and the springs don't fall off only under video in conditions will this will the springs fall off we need to drop move this until the damper will drop into its little pot go we can now drop that and everything's back in place simply then refit the top cover with its gasket cork gasket and now what would happen uh, once this shaft is turning at a certain speed the bob weights will be lifted up and it will pull this lever up into as far as it needs to go depending on the speed of the engine um,